So Kevin Feiges has been the musical director for this extraordinary event that um, has been pulled together in the memory of Keith Tippett. So how's this journey been for you, Kevin? Um, quite intense. Um, and uh, a vast majority of the work has been preparing the charts for it, really. Um, listening through to the recordings and uh, uh, getting the music together. And uh, because I haven't had full charts, I've had some sort of sections of charts. I've had to uh, recreate the whole thing from uh, you know a handful of charts, basically. Uh, and a few Keith notes. Yeah, and just also listening and transcribing some stuff as well from the recordings. <laughs> So how easy or difficult was it to arrive at what you were going to perform, which pieces, which lineups? Um, the, the From Ground to Wind was, was a fairly easy decision because uh, I'd played it, Ben had played it and James had played it and uh, uh, we did have some music, not all of it, some music for it and a recording to listen to. So that was, and obviously uh, we recorded it with Keith, so we had Keith's um, you know, we knew what he was aiming for. Yeah. So, so that was, and the big band was more um, uh, what was available musically. Although I did find some stuff which was quite nice. Um, and uh, again, working from very sort of uh, sparse sheets and, and um, uh, generating music for a seventeen-piece big band from that. And do you hear him in the back of your mind? Do you hear him kind of? I went back to the recordings actually, so for example on September Energy I transcribed uh, basically what Keith plays at the beginning, which was an improvisation, but I transcribed some of the improvisation which Jim will play and then Jim will go into his own improvisation before the main piece starts, which I'm, I'm not playing on, I have to direct it because it's very much a directed piece. In fact I'm directing most of the big band, I'm not playing on most of it. <laughs> Well, the big band won't actually really get a rehearsal, will they? They won't get any rehearsal at all. We've no. got a sound check. We're, we might well run through a few things. But, so the parts have to be really, really clear. Yeah. Very clear. That's quite ambitious, but very, very exciting as well. Yeah, but great bunch of musicians there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we've, we're in no doubt that it will be astounding. So do you have a personal favourite piece of Keith's? Um... I mean, I've put uh, I put a Mayday in there because uh, that was the one that uh, back in the days of the seabed, Ron Keynes always used to play the main part of Mayday. Great alto player who now lives down in Brighton, I think, and still playing and still making recordings with Martin Archer actually. Okay. Um, uh, but um, he left, and uh, so Keith gave me the job. So I was always very pleased to be able to play that one. So that's sort of a personal favourite. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what's your um, favourite Keith joke? Can you remember any Keith jokes? Uh, not that they're repeatable, <laughs> really. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, obviously, you've got a long history with Keith. You went to Canada, to Portugal. Um, have been involved in many projects. I think you were the first person he pretty much called um, when you know, new commissions arose in the jazz genre. So um, this is going to be quite a moving event for yourself too. It will, it'll be incredibly uh, intense and busy as well. So that's, that's uh, I'll be in a different mindset. Yeah, well, we'll all have a pint at the end of it. Thank you. Thanks, Yaninka. <laughs>